Right, remember, don't ride, don't ride her with two hands. Start with one hand and then correct with two. But work towards the ability to do all that with one hand. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's okay to put two hands on the reins, but make the effort with one hand and then correct with two. That way you're building towards, you know, having her steer well for you when you show. One thing I always tell people about dry work, and Sherry's ridden with me for seven or eight years, and I'll have to tell her again today because it's just the way it is. But don't dry work next to the fence or next to the gate. You know, Sherry, how many times have I told you that? What, what pe yeah, the, the amateurs come over here close to the fence, and here's why. Because it gives them a barrier, and they don't actually have to be in control. So I always challenge them. It's her job, when she gets her hand down, to like a relentless machine, focus. Read the cow. Study the cow. Focus on the cow. Don't let any other thoughts in the world or into your mind. Get focused and read the cow. Your process is to read, ride, and release. If you're reading the cow, you know when to ride and you'll know when to release because you've got to ride when the cow's going, release as the cow's slowing down, or completely release when it stops. Good timing comes from good focus. Read it, release. Beautiful. Don't look down. Can't read it if you look down. Focus. Don't be surprised by what the cow does. Be, know what's going to happen by reading it well. Quit. Whoa. That was a good thought. With it. The reason we quit was because the good thought, the mare shuffled backwards, came inside the cow, to me stayed level, was reading the cow all the way through the turn. You want to reward that thought. And, and I, I want to emphasize, just because they're practicing doesn't mean the horse is practicing. We, get, we, we have to.